Hi, and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a heat map based off of postal code and a series of membership numbers for a nonprofit. This request comes to us from our good friends at the Michigan Science Center in Detroit. If you're ever there, please go check them out. You'll have a great time. So in my example, I'm using uh, Chicago zip codes because I know those. I have a list of all the zip codes in Chicago and some made up membership numbers in column B. And I'd like to see this as a heat map. Here's how you do it. I'm going to click a single cell anywhere in my table. Uh, I'll go to the insert tab of my ribbon. And with the chart section, you'll find an icon labeled maps. It's just a little globe. So we'll click that. There's one icon there called filled map. And right away, it maps these zip codes. It takes these numbers and associate them, associates them with a zip code on the map. <clears throat> now the challenge is uh, it's showing it within the context of all of Illinois. So let's change that. I'm going to right click on the map. <coughs> Pardon me, and I'll choose format data series. When the format data series window appears, uh, I'm going to choose the option uh, that says map area and switch that to only regions with data. And so now you get the entire uh, area that has a zip code represented, which is the city of Chicago, but not looking at the whole state. So it's a lot easier to see the different values. Now, another thing I'm going to do is click series color. And since it's a heat map, I'll change the default color for the maximum value from blue to red. Uh, and then I'll change the title. Of course, we can come in here and say uh, membership by zip code. And uh, you can change other options too, right? When you click on your chart, you can go to add chart element. Maybe you want to add data labels. So we choose show uh, so that there's a data label for a certain area. If you want to you know, click on a specific data point, let's do that and do it for the whole thing. We'll say data labels show. And uh, there you go. Now we can make this bigger, right? I'll close this pane on the right hand side and sort of expand this. So there we go. And uh, now some of the areas are too small really to show their label. But of course, when you uh, click on the map uh, and hover over a given, da given data point, you'll see uh, the membership value as well as the, uh, the zip code data point. And it's dynamic, right? So if I'm looking at this area, uh, 60615, <coughs> and I decide I want to uh, change that, so I'll find them in the list and make them 500K. So now re relative to that area, the other areas are a much lighter shade of red or even going down to a light gray. If I change another area to make it even bigger, then that number won't be so red as compared to everything else. So it's dynamic. It'll adjust as you add different data points to your, to your chart or change your values. Uh, so that's how you do a heat map in Excel. I hope you found it useful. Please check in again soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day.